Hey guys, I'm over here on Oak Hill. This one, I just did a walk of the property. It's got its quirks. Uh, condition's nice, uh, it's a flip. So obviously an investor went in, uh, read it everything, and now I'm gonna be selling it. So first thing to point out, you're on Oak Hill here, which on the overhead looks like a pretty busy road. I mean, you've got the yellow dividers in the middle, but I've been here probably about 15 minutes now. It's not all that busy. Uh, it's, I think, 40 or 35 out here. Uh, miles per hour, uh, 35. So you, this is the noise you'll get from the road out here. And like, this is the front door coming off of this road here and then down. So it's all gated. And you've got a gate for the drive and garage on the other side. So plenty of yard space, obviously. Now we're going through front door here. And the garage you'll see goes into the other side. Uh, so quick specs, they're listed at 624, 999, so 625. Uh, it's a little bit older. Uh, it's a 1953 build. And you're on a raised elevation. Uh, different than slab. I like raised a little bit more just because it's easier to access. All of your plumbing, ducting, all that good stuff. Uh, it's three beds, two bath, 1,369 square feet, no HOA on this one. Uh, no, well, says it doesn't have AC on here, but I saw the condenser outside. So I'm gonna try to run this if I can. And I confirm that it does have working AC. Uh, otherwise, let's see. So it should have AC unless that condenser is not operable. So let's go through. So you come into the front door, uh, immediate to our right is the living room. And that is a wood burning fireplace rather than all of the gas ones they have today. So that's cool. Really high ceilings in here. And obviously everything has been redone. Uh, so we'll go through here to our left first, which this room's a little bit smaller. I'd say it's the second biggest room in the house, but this one I would call the master bedroom because you do have the bathroom attached here. So again, upgraded throughout in here. They just put one of like those one, looks like maybe two piece uh, tub shower liners in there. So that part's not super upgraded, but everything else is like they, they might have left the old tile on the back as well. Windows are all new, so you've got dual pane windows throughout, so it's really quiet in here, despite people going 35 on that road there. This is a little bit weird to me, uh, kind of wasted space. Probably best use for it now would be uh, like one of those little, like a hutch, and then maybe some floating shelves uh, up there, like a picture uh, spot and a little bit of storage down below. So kitchen's all upgraded, uh, new cabinet boxes, uh, quartz countertops, electric stove. Not sure how you guys feel whether you prefer gas or electric. Uh, I know whoever does the cooking is usually pretty uh, adamant about which one they prefer. I prefer gas myself. Uh, but you do have, so you'd have gas. Uh, closest bit gas line would be from the water heater in the garage. So you may be able to pull a line over. Uh, if you're really wanting gas in here. Dining room, like kind of split of the kitchen here. Uh, they're using a very small table, so most people will have like a six person, so it'll chew up a little bit more space there, but luckily you have plenty of uh, just kind of empty void here. So you're fine with whatever size table you want there. Uh, let's go through the other two bedrooms and bathroom before we go outside and I'll show you kind of the, where the quirks begin. Uh, this one, this second bedroom, this one looks maybe a little bit bigger than the other one, but it doesn't have the bath uh, connected. So we'll call this second bedroom. And then a very narrow third bedroom. This one's maybe like 9 by 11. Oh, they say 10 by 12. I don't think so. bathroom here. So yeah, it looks like they left the old tile in here from before. But new box 
boxes, countertops, toilets, paint throughout, all that good stuff. Okay, so here's where, well, I already went through one of the quirks about how the front doors on that side of the house come off of that main road. Go out here. So, here we keep on this side for the driveway and then the garage to my left. So you'd have to get out, open that every time because I don't see a motorized system on it. Um, uh, laundry is in the garage, so you're going to need to go out this door that I just came through, out to the garage to do laundry, which obviously is not ideal, especially if you know, you're trying to do laundry on one of the few days a year that we get rain. Uh, garage size though, it's pretty wide. It's uh, extra wide, probably, yeah, that's a pretty standard, uh, standard depth here. Epoxy floors, sorry, I got a sneeze coming up. <sighs> yeah, maybe, maybe you are. <laughs> there it is, all right. Uh, and the water heater looks older, uh, even though it says 2008, small as well, so let's see if that's maybe an issue or not. But like I said, you've got gas line here, and then the kitchen is right through this wall, so you'd probably be able to just uh, tap off the gas line, run it through the wall there behind the range if you're wanting a gas range. Um, let's go the rest of the perimeter here. So you have this built in overhang, which is nice, especially on hot days like today. You've got a cool shed back here. It's not finished in in terms of like having insulation and drywall on the inside, but this, I mean, it's built well, structurally. Uh, you can fit all kinds of stuff in here. Well, you can see back there, it's a little bit dark. And then back around to what I'm calling the front because this is where the front door is. And then big grass yard again. Uh, you know, it's older. Roof looks pretty good. I'm not seeing anything crazy. Actually looks kind of newer sometime in the last 10 years. Maybe 15 years, uh, so plenty of life should be left on the roof. Uh, come around this side, and this will just lead back out to where the gate is on the driveway and garage. Yeah, that's Oak Hill upgraded, which is obviously the big plus. Uh, works being kind of the location on this little kitty corner here, front door facing out this way to the main road and then off to the side uh, being the gated entrance that you have to kind of get out and close every time and then laundry being in the garage. Uh, but I'll get this one sent over to you guys ASAP and let me know what you think. Talk soon.